All right. Welcome to the Monday Night Men's Forum. Uh, I am Matt of From Hop Life, and tonight we have Jeremy. Uh, Do we like donuts on TikTok? We have Guy Alaska from Twitter. We have Homestead of Pain on Instagram and Twitter, and Christopher from Secure Coop on Twitter and um, maybe. And I think that's it. Okay. Let's share personal events. Jeremy, you go first. Um. I gave a chicken a spa bath yesterday. <laughs> uh, stuck egg? Yeah. Yeah. My favorite. Bread. Success? Mm, no, I didn't get anything out except oh, no. a bunch of nasty junk. No egg. Thing is, is, you know, when you've got a chicken that's egg bound, supposedly, you know, you can feel it if it's actually truly egg bound. And I couldn't feel anything, so... Mm. makes me wonder if she's truly egg bound or something else is wrong but i have never had that problem what is it is this a stuck egg yep basically as a as the egg starts to come down the duct work if you will if you will (laughs) it can get stuck and uh you know chickens lay eggs and poop out of the same holes so yeah you can imagine that there's no uh no way for poop to get out so they can die they will die if they're egg bound and not treated they'll die so she came inside last night got a spa bath blow dryer and everything got a video that's going to go up on tiktok in the next couple of days about it (laughs) good i'm looking forward to watching that i got it'll be better than eating jalapenos and raw eggs that was a that was a weird like stretch of videos you had on tiktok where all of a sudden you got requests of just eat this eat that well it's it's not done (laughs) probably not done i mean like people keep requesting things like raw potatoes which that was me i thought that i know it was i know it was you that was why i said that (laughs) oddly enough there was someone that commented that says i actually like to eat raw potatoes i think i saw that i'm like all right i was surprised you didn't uh it's a poor person's apple it's a poor person's apple apple. (laughs) yeah i expected you to request the raw egg but you didn't that's Uh, what i thought you were gonna do i guess now i'll just start spamming your your all your videos yeah. well you texted egg. me what you really wanted me to do but that's true <laughs> i already forgot what that was but i uh, did not and i'm not gonna repeat it all right You'd get me banned um, and, oh. and uh and i had a niece so yeah got a new niece oh nice so there's some cool life events in the last few weeks i like how the chicken made it first we talked more about the <laughs> chicken <laughs> than the niece. Yeah. well i mean that was like fresh on my mind that was last night like sure 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 six o'clock i'm in there i, an I hour get and it. a half Giving a chicken a spa bath. Next. Um, Guy Alaska. You haven't been on in a while. Nope. <laughs> Pretty proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> t- t- share, share a personal event. Um, I don't know. I, like just what I've been up to. Yeah. What have you been up to? Uh, just logging, basically. We got a lot of trees that I'm cutting down because we're working on that addition and and uh, got all kinds of other structures to build. So we got a sawmill on the way. So I'm getting trees down so I can mill them into lumber. Sweet. You building a cabin? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm just adding on to this. So I'm going to um, take it you're completely off grid. Well, yep. I guess. Well, you're, yeah. I mean, you're connected here, so that's. Yeah, I mean, I'm running, I'm running a generator with a booster right now to make this call, but nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, off, that off picture grid. that you posted, um, was that is that your property or someone else's property? With the trees down. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's us. Oh, cool! I didn't know you had that big barn thing. Yeah, I built that last uh, last winter. Oh, cool. Yeah, I thought you just had the house, so. Yeah, yeah, the barn's nicer than my house. (laughs) (laughs) They usually are, aren't they? Yeah. (laughs) Thanks for being here. Yeah, Uh, 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 happy to be here. Thanks for running the generator so you could join us. Yeah, and, and turning on a light, otherwise, uh, I don't know. Be like, be like I know who who, yeah. who anonymous is. Okay, Grant, uh, tell us tell us what you told us before we started. What what um, happened to you this week? 
Well, the lady friend I have been seeing turned out to be not a such a potential prospect, which is extremely disappointing because a lot of things lined up <laughs> really, really well. And then I get home today from from seeing her. We made pre plans and we, you know, watched a couple movies, watched some TV shows, and went to some nurseries and antique stores. I had this letter from my work saying that my position has been terminated from part time to full time. And I no longer work there. So oh, so bummer. it has been a great week. Um, I'm going to go in tomorrow anyway and be like, hey, what's up? What's the deal with this? <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, I'm sure. And, right, and it's right when I was getting out of break. So I could have put in 160 hours between now and school started back. So that would have been like $4,000 I could have stacked away. Mm-hmm. And then – yeah and then I, and then i also lost that's where i get my totes from so i'm gonna see if i can work out something from the shipping director there they just call me when they get full yeah so yeah yay so 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 what happened between you and your lady friend do you find out she had a sister and went for her <laughs> uh no it's uh i could tell you more in private it's just okay. something like uh, well that's not fun more so woke. <laughs> <laughs> more so go kind of woke ish um mm. you know, all into the whole you know leftist normieism double vaxxed um as far as i know there could be more um as far as I so know, could be more. <laughs> so yeah that's funny that's pretty but funny. then there's and there's a, a couple other things that i would not air uh, in public <laughs> oh no <laughs> all right well uh, we'll, we'll have to come back to that after, after we end. Um, that's fine. Well, uh, I'm sorry you have having a crappy week, but I mean, you get your totes back. <laughs> that's all I'm really worried about is my totes, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm having, I'm having fun, you know, going out with her. Maybe we can just stay friends and just keep hanging out. Cause it's fun to have a real person friend who's into all the same things you want. <laughs> Um, but I'm really more bummed about my totes. You know, like I can go make money somewhere Priorities. else. Priorities. I can go make You're money sure. somewhere else. I can't necessarily go get, you know, yeah. four of those a week for free. We need a grant to make a shirt like totes malotes or something. I don't know. Something, something <laughs> totes about my totes. goats. Yeah, totes, totes my goats. My goats. Something, something <laughs> totes. Uh, Christopher, go ahead. Yeah, well, I was going to say grant. Um, you know, we were after, after everybody had hung up last yeah. week, yeah. you and I were talking still on the on the video and uh you know it just sounds like that was an answer to a lot of the things we were thinking about we're talking about so yeah you know, hey that was a fast fast response there it, it, you know it, it was but it's so so bum it it's just a, a painful bummer. thing it's no a doubt. Bummer. yeah no yeah. doubt it's still painful it is what it is yeah yeah, um, me, I, uh, I've been finding, uh, just, I've been, I've been going down the pathway of uh, testosterone to see if that's why I'm just dragging my butt for years and years. <laughs> so uh, I took, t- tried some new supplements that have a guarantee. I've got a uh, testosterone uh, check. So I've got a baseline level and then I'll take these supplements and then they've got a guarantee on them and, you know, money back any, any reason. I read the fine print and all that. So I'm going to try that. And it, it, I, today seemed like a little bit better. I got some more household chores done and things like that. Um, so that was nice to be able to to get up and, you know, off my butt and actually do some things. It's just, uh, it, man, when, 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 when you're just tired all the time, anything, getting anything done is exciting. So it's like, yay, I'm, I'm, I got some stuff done. Yay. I checked off my, my, my to-do list and things. Yeah, it's um, got to get old after a while. Oh man, you just don't want to sit there anymore. No progress. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, um, yeah, because there's a lot of great things I want to do, but I've got to be moving. So, uh, the other thing, this is kind of interesting. I, I was talking over with a buddy, a prepper, a prepper buddy of mine. He's more like a survivalist, and uh, we worked out how to take an old weed eater and uh, a rocket stove and spin a and the old the weed eater piston make a, a generator a, out of that you know so we, he and i always sat there and <laughs> brainstormed how to do that like all right so it's down and everything's down what are you gonna do you're gonna go to the junkyard you're gonna find a two cycle engine of some kind cool you make uh you make steam on the rocket stove yeah you can burn plaster or, or wood or paper or any kind of trash yeah yeah so we're just hashing it out we just had a good time talking that out and figuring out how we would 
you know, uh, Apocalypse Junkyard MacGyver a, uh, a a generator, and that was a lot of fun this week. So now you got to build one to prove. Yeah, that's the proof of concept. Yeah, yeah, that's that. that but that's far down the road. I got the. <laughs> I actually got the engines though. I called up my buddy. Hey. Or text them. You got any uh, old two to two cycle engines? You don't. You don't. They're broken. Yeah, I got some. Of these so I got a couple of two cycle engines sitting out See? there, and they'll they'll be fine. They'll just sit so my, out there. And... My question is, how do those run when you don't have any fuel? You take the rocket stove. You burn. Uh, wood so the rocket or... stove is is the source. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It I'm, makes, I'm following. Makes heat. It burn. Right. It boils water in in tubing or a pot or some kind of container. <laughs> You capture that steam, comes out of that, and it pushes the piston inside the two cycle engine. Yeah, so uh, it's, you, um, I'm following. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get on YouTube. They got th uh, videos on making a two cycle engine uh, convert to steam. It's pretty, it's pretty cool technology. And, and you know, if, you, if you're at the end of, uh, uh, if you got no electricity and you got nothing, start Ooh. digging in the, in the uh, dump and you'll find some, some cool things you can put together and MacGyver something out of it. So you get a bicycle too. Just pedal yeah. your, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. Me and me and my buddy were, was hashing that out. Like, yeah, what, 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 this happens. Cause he, he's, he's a little more adept with that kind of thing. So he, he, he knew what he was talking about. So it was cool. Nice. Yeah. Guy, did you ever make anything like that? Ever have to cobble something together? Or you're just like, I don't need power. I'll just hand saw all these logs. Sit in the dark. <laughs> Sit in the dark. Yeah. No, I, I I don't need power, but my wife does. So, no, yeah. I've I got a big old book on how to build a wood gasifier, but I'll never do it. Yep. I don't Isn't know. It's that's like lots of welding. Yeah. Yo, it is. I know. I bought it, and then I looked at. It, I was like, oh, there's a there's a lot more to this. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I'm not very mechanically inclined to begin with. I'm a carpenter. There you go. Yeah, I'm 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 barely a carpenter and not mechanically inclined, so I'm just gonna do everything the hard way. <laughs> Two sticks yep, is complicated. Exactly. <laughs> so I wait till you get. Oh no! Uh -oh. We're losing him already. Mm -hmm. You lost mm -hmm. me. He's back. Oh, yeah. we heard that. Yeah, I heard that part. I feel like I'm still here. You are still yeah. here. Now we heard that. <laughs> yep. Okay. That, that's a good, that's a good 15 right. seconds of dead air. Um, so uh, <laughs> personal event. Um, I accepted a new job on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> put in, uh, put in my two weeks on Friday and I start December 5th for this okay. job that I interviewed like a month ago or whatever. Okay. So, you did nice. get it. Congrats. Yeah, so uh, thank you. I forgot that they had two openings, and when they was, when they said it was me or this guy with a master's degree, I'm like, and they said they went with the guy with the master's degree and like the better references or whatever. I'm like, oh okay, and I just like, oh, okay. I guess I didn't get it, and then wasn't until last week. Like we were, let me tell you, we were this close to buying a travel trailer last week. I mean, like found the one. I was going to go down to Salt Lake City to go pick it up. And and then, like, the job offer came in. It, like, derailed everything. Um, I mm. briefly talked to my wife about it. I'm like, I kind of got to take it, right? She's like, you don't have to, but, boy, it would be nice. And I'm like, <laughs> ah, I guess I got to take it. So, uh, so I ended up taking it. And, like, travel is part of the job. But I don't know what that means for like the whole twenty by twenty three project. Like, we gotta like, I gotta I gotta put my time in and see how I can still do it because we're still gonna do it. It just might not look the same because it was gonna be like one long road trip essentially, just from state to state to state to state. And um, yeah, so Is it stressing things, you out? It, dude. I had a. Uh, I'll, I'll send you the link of the of the video I did um, over the weekend that things things aren't even like really that that rough right now like things are uncomfortable but we're we have not even started to like get hit with hurt you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. so um, 
extra cash is always going to be good. So that's, mm -hmm. that's a big part of why I did it. That and the Airbnb market's pretty saturated. So to rely solely on that, um, not smart. Like in the best, in the best market, it was doable, but we are not like in the best, not market. the best market. So, like, mm -mm. like everyone in their, everyone and their brother has an Airbnb now. So it's like, well, people are just going to be looking for instead of like, uh, they're just going to be looking for deals more than like a quality place right. to stay. So I people mean, still want to travel, but they want cheap. Yeah. Right now, especially. For sure. So we got to, we got to adjust. Maybe a 10 by 23. <laughs> or is it 20 by 20, 20, 20, what? 20 what by 24. 20, yeah, that's right. 23 by 23, right, Grant? 20 by 24. I hate, I hate now. Okay. <laughs> Throwing shade again. Yeah, of course. I've been... I've been a I've been a bit of a dickhead to like all day. So, um, it's just spilling over into the men's forum. It's it's all right. My heart's already broken. <laughs> man, <you're> <laughs> just kick a man while he's down, why don't you? <laughs> um, so the main topic. Um, I'm intrigued by this number 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 twenty five <laughs> is echo chambers, hive minds, and circle jerks. Now I wasn't. I wasn't going to include the last part. I did a double take I, when I saw it. <laughs> Me well, too. <laughs> well, you know, every once in a while we gotta we gotta go there. Spice it up, right, right up to the edge. Um, so That's why week, I came. <laughs> <laughs> but um, hold up. <laughs> uh, this is guy, guys just here for the circle <laughs> So keep uh, going down this road. I'm leaving. <laughs> You're staying, and you're gonna you're gonna stay until the end, Christopher. <laughs> um, I think that's what he's afraid of. Yeah, we'll see where this goes. I'm way too curious. Um, so I want to make an apology. Actually, he's gonna apologize and mute his mic. <laughs> 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 Am I here? Hello. Oh yeah, you're you're, you're here you're now. Back. Yeah, I bumped you my. Have... Oh, okay. Uh, you totally uh... muted your mic while you. Made we it thought it was like intentional. That's pretty clever. Though. That, that would have been <laughs> no, really good. I bumped it. Uh, yeah. So no, that'd have been really good way, if you did that on purpose. I called this group. I said that it was like a circle jerk, and then I got to thinking, what makes that group a circle jerk and not this group? Like <clears throat> this could be considered like a circle jerk. Like, oh, what were they talking you... about? Um, they just talk about homesteading and self reliance and stuff like that. But like, they're they all like get together every week like this. And I'm like, so what? Why them and not this? So I think if we either both circle jerks or neither one is a circle jerk. Well, it all depends on why you called them that in the first place. I'm not going there. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. I bleed the fifth. <clears throat> no, I missed it. What group are you talking about? No, we're not talking about that. Yeah, no, so not, not even bringing up the name. All right, it's, it's his competition. <laughs> not, ah. not really, but kind of, and okay. it's it's just a different group. It's just yeah. a different group that does something. Oh, but like, but uh, anyways, just, was it like just repetitiveness, or I mean, um, maybe I don't know. Okay. I. I See, this is why I'm apologizing because I don't even know. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair to call it a circle jerk. So, well, I mean, if, you, if you're all like minded, that. if you're all like minded and you're not bringing in bringing in any, I could outside. I would say that's more of like an echo chamber. Yeah. Uh, I would say a circle jerk is more conceited, I guess, and condescending Funny when maybe. Says it. <laughs> uh, why, dude? It's just I. It's not language that I've ever heard you say before. So. I expect it. I don't guy, think I've ever sure. said it before. <laughs> we need to get you to say it. He's guys pulling 20 up his reference to manual. twenty-three times. This guys, guys, guys <laughs> gotta look it up. What is I'm this? Good. Hey, no. I'm good. I'm gonna see if it's Is that is that the Bible? See, look and see. <laughs> I know it ain't in there. Come on, man. 
blood no, the dictionary. I'm just curious if there's a if there's an actual definition. Oh man, there ain't no definition for that. <laughs> we can go urban for that definition. Uh, yeah, for real. Yeah, urban so, dictionary. So I'll be oh. nope. This is a work computer. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so echo. No, nope, it ain't right? in there. It's just yeah. like stuff on repeat, right? Is that kind of like the general? No, I'm, get, I'm getting you the definition. definition. When I think of Let's echo chamber, uh, uh, when uh, I think of echo chamber, I'm thinking one. about a place where you go to. You want to you want to talk to your your people, but you only want to hear what you certain responses. Like there's there's a, there's a meme that went around. I always relate things to a meme, right? <laughs> Uh, there's a meme that was like, uh, people don't want to hear your opinion. They want to hear their opinion coming out of your mouth. And so we got, um, the, 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 the um, echo chamber is like, you, you need to fix, figure out something. You got a problem you're having, you need to get it solved. And all you're going to hear is one kind of perspective. You're not going to hear balance. I don't think that's the same quite as like a tribe or a community or a, a group or, you know, a bunch, a bunch of friends. Those people are there when they when they get together. They're more like support and, and, and more like, you know, uh, pouring into the other person. Yeah, they are giving answers. But an echo chamber is like you're cutting off opinions that you don't like, but which might cause you to grow and cause cause you change sure yeah yep. so i looked up the definition of a circle jerk and it's the act of constantly <laughs> sharing the same opinion in a forum full of people who are obviously known to have the same opinion as yours therefore granting you free upvotes to said opinion while gathering down votes to anyone that opposes you oh on. that is so reddit that is just reddit. oh it is, yeah. it is. That's, that's exactly what they're referring to god which is all Reddit is. It's just I that's hate it. Reddit. <laughs> I do too. It's awful. I think it's more of like a like the inverse of a dog pile. You know, you're it, a dog yeah. pile. Every everybody piling on against something, whereas the circle jerks kind of everybody piling on, that kind is, of infatuated with the same thing. That yeah. is a great way to put that. Mm -hmm. um, there you go. Topic solved. <laughs> Right. Case closed. <laughs> there yeah. you go. See y'all next right. week. What's the what's the difference of a hive mind then? Is like a hive mind kind of like the NPCs where they just kind of like uh yeah that it's like they, they all do the same thing. The same yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say that's what that is. It's more like physical action versus just it could be same, mental same thing through like the mainstream media that most people who watch that are usually a hive minded. I was today, you know, I was listening to you know. Uh, my friend, her grandfather was listening to TV and it was just like, it's just news. It's like Fox, whatever, Fox five, it's just your local news. I'm like, this is mind numbing. Like they're talking about this. It's like any, any news media now for, that's yeah. coming out of a television it's mind. immediately mind numbing. I don't care mind. if it's the weather or what's happening in Cobb County. It, it's like, I want to jump out of this window. It could be any window. It could be the window Twice. two feet off the ground. I still want to jump out it, go back in, and then jump out it again. <laughs> it, it it's mind numbing, and that's where I think like the hive mind comes from. People yeah. pick it up and like, oh, this is this is this 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 is it, and without critically thinking about it at all. All right. So with the, the topic of like um, media and hive minds, have you guys seen the? Um, it was a TikTok video running around for a while that was all of these different affiliates of news stations. Yeah. Yes. That yes. They're, they're finishing each other's sentences. Yes. They were the thing. Yeah. So, so creepy. That's, that is what I think of with the hive. I mean, it, it's one of the things that I think of. I'm not saying that that's the definition of, of hive mind, mm -hmm. but that's, I, mean, I relate it's that. It's pretty close. <laughs> I relate I mean, that. I, I relate it to a hive mind and yeah. oh. that, that this is, we're trying to now control the masses by yeah they feed they all feed you the same message that yep. the masses which so you'll buy into the hive buys yeah, safe and effective yeah and oh my gosh <laughs> then that's let's go out and get three of them well, let's just go come on let's just go at the same time so that that yeah. really brings out the difference between um an echo chamber which is sort of like you talking with others and a hive mind which is one person speaking to several 
or or several mm -hmm. people speaking to an, uh, to several audiences, but they and all have just, the same and just the same message. It and buying it all up completely without question. I, yeah. I think that's what comes in is there is no question. They just obey. Yeah. And and Fox is just as bad about hive yeah. mind as, as MSN. Yeah, they're all bad. It, it, it really is. Them. It's, it's oh. all mind you know, numbing. I, they don't you. Fox doesn't drive me up a wall because I you know kind of relate to some of the their their pains that they're having. But it, at the same time, I know that whenever it's on, I'm not getting the whole picture. You know, Tucker yeah. isn't telling the whole story. Like today, no, you, you're getting ha you're getting the facts that they want you to hear. I get all my news from 4chan. Uh, <laughs> yes, I heard. Oh, that's not an echo chamber. I heard at all. fully oh, automatic yeah. assault uh, Paul. so many times today. It was like they just like that's not. It's just I the verbiage they I, use. I don't. I don't. Let's just clarify that. I, I mean, don't. I don't ever get on there, but I know what it is. Yeah. He says that. Do we believe him? We don't know. I don't know. I think he. he, he I don't probably care if he had. Uh, not, but. Maybe he's had his own green text story on there a couple times. Now, is it bad to be in an echo chamber or a hive? No, I'm in one every day. <laughs> I have, Sometimes I have you just want to hear the the stuff that you want to. I think it's it depends. I think I think it's bad if you're in it all the time and never outside of it. Now, would you call your friend group an echo chamber? Yeah, probably. Just tell me stuff I want to hear. <laughs> don't tell me stuff I don't want to hear. Tell me I'm I mean, pretty. Then I'm not. Into it. <laughs> they, they shoot me out. <laughs> um, I don't know. It depends. Uh, the Proverbs talk about, you know, blessed are the wounds of a friend. And a friend will come at you and say, you know, I really care for you. And so, therefore, I can't. It, 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 it really bothers me to see you hurting yourself in this way. And, and you're going to go, oh, I don't want to hear that. It makes me annoyed. But you're right. I need to hear that. So a good friend will, will not just be an echo chamber. <clears throat> yeah, I got some of that this week. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh, it was revolving um, the girl I was seeing. A um, friend of mine, she picked it from the start. She said she wears a mask. She said, you know, she picked it down to a T about exactly how it was going to end. <laughs> just because and I was she's like, just profiled. She pro sure. just, just on the mask alone. It's like everything else on up from, you know, hard worker. She's not addicted to her phone. I hadn't seen her touch her phone at all today. Um, so many different things, but it's just how it comes down to that mask and being bought into the whole thing and then come down to being double vaxxed among some other more progressive um you know issues that come that usually come from that side of the from the left side of the the populace it's just kind of just stuff like that well grant you know uh if she got double vaxxed you know she doesn't need birth control <laughs> oh, hey, oh, oh dude oh, dang oh. Mm -hmm. YouTube. <laughs> I mean, he went there. He I went there. I had to, and, and, it was right there. Somebody uh, had to say it, and guy the is sitting is, there silent. The thing is, is that step on pop light has hole, received like one discredit <laughs> social credit score. Is that uh, guy's line normally? Oh, he's uh, such a prick on Twitter. I can't believe that he's just like. Oh look, I gotta go find you on Twitter. I, I found him did it's, it like um, last week because of some of the stuff you've It's posted. real Kalo Jones. I'm going to put a big old banner at the bottom of the screen so everyone sure. can find Guy. <laughs> real. Oh, well, the first thing that comes up with real is real Donald Trump. Uh, uh, real. He's back. <laughs> he's back. He's back. Yep. Oh, that, that was a that was a account I couldn't block fast enough. <laughs> oh, wait. But. Yeah, talk about talk about echo chambers and hive minds. That that's oh, not something I need to be a part of. So it's it's on that subject. It's really really good idea to occasionally stretch yourself, but it's hard to find people with whom on on other side of the aisle with whom you can talk that are not going to be just rude, disruptive, difficult. Ugh. No, no just, when you say talk, do you mean talk about political things, ideas, ideological? Political or ideas, just being yeah. casual and normal with each other. Yeah, just a conversation. It doesn't have to be with somebody who agrees with most everything. It's then, it's healthy. It's yeah. healthy to stop and and pick up and have conversations with 
opposite people. It, it, I get uh, a lot of that in class now because, you know, most of the people nowadays are, you know, again, <sighs> um, you know, everybody's, you know, got something different going on, like half their heads shave, it's a different color. They've got a bull nose ring for some reason. It's that's my whole class, you know. I and it's like, like that. and um, I always try to be cordial. The teacher will bring up politics as like I stay out of it because he's like, oh man, coal plants are get they're getting rid of coal. Which they are getting rid of coal plants. Like they're trying to shut down the coal plant near me, which was when it was built in 1980. It was the largest coal plant in the world, built to yeah. fuel Atlanta. But currently is also giving power to Alabama and Mississippi, but they're going to try to shut it down in the next 10 years. So, yeah, they're talking about rolling blackouts like in California. Mm. But he'll bring that up. I'll I'll just sit back and like, you know, I'm here for school. I'm here for connections. I'm not here to I'm not here to cause problems. And I think that's where a lot of people now have trouble when to bring that up and when not to bring that up. Well, I mean, speaking about, you know, trying to have those conversations with people that don't agree with you. I mean, like there's on my TikTok channel, I put out, there was one comment um, someone made a while back about Republicans are so fearful of this and that and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, you realize that I have a ton, a ton of left-leaning people that follow me and that I follow back because we can all learn from each other. Yeah. Like we don't have to agree on every ideology. Yeah. You yeah. you have chickens, you have a garden, you do all this stuff that I'm interested in and and you I, I there's it's a two-way street and we can have civil discord about this stuff, but people get so caught up in the fact that you have to believe what I believe and I have to believe what you believe and Yeah. I will say I do funnel out the people who bring it up in places like that. You know, they bring up a, an idea I didn't ask them for when their channel is built around, you know, gardening or chickens or soap making or woodcrafting, if they bring that up, I'd be like, I, I didn't come to your channel to hear this. So I'm out. You know, I've lost just- some followers before, um, <laughs> which that's fine and whatever. Follow them if you want to. Don't if you don't. I don't care. Yeah. But um, but I put out a video talking about the fact that, you know, what I just said. And I had so many people come in and say, hey, I'm a liberal prepper and. I follow you because your content's valuable and I appreciate you for, you know, I'm, I mean, it's, we can all get along. People forget that. Mm. Yeah. And we need to, because honestly, this divisiveness is destroying us. We used to, I, I've watched, I've seen a chart um, where the, the left and right and, and how most of the, until about uh, 30 years ago, it was like the two, the left and the right were like this. There's so much overlap. And then over time, it just started doing like this, like this, like this, like this, to where there's just almost no overlap. And, and you, you're going to tear apart a nation unless you stop and dialogue. And um, mm-hmm. that's got to happen. It's got to well, happen. What, what was you the sure it didn't go like this? I was, that's, that's where I was going. So, you know, so Elon Musk. Yeah, I could have. Right, right. I think it was Elon Musk made the comment at one this point way. that, you know, that that he was right in the middle, but then the left went way over here. And well, he's still in the middle. So now yeah, he's considered I, conservative. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know middle, the causes, but I know there's a lot of separation and it's it's not healthy. It's just not good. Time to go. I don't even no, think there's that, that much separation. I mean, you're right. I think you're right. You know, I think like you're talking about, you have a lot of liberal followers. And I think the majority of conservatives and liberals agree on, you know, kind of the the whole natural law ideas that that this country is founded on. And I think that more and more liberals are are starting to to lean more towards true free speech and true uh, right to bear arms, that sort of thing. But I think the problem is, is that there's a very clear agenda being set at the, you know, the leadership levels of Western nations, ours in particular. And mm-hmm. and the problem is, is that that ideology is, is starting to become, it was permeating the left first and, and that's alienating the right. And so 
you know, you have these leaders who I wouldn't even call thought leaders. They, they're not thought, they think nothing. They just parrot whatever they're told to parrot. But, you know, they're the ones up there saying you're a Democrat, so you ought to believe this now. And the Democrats just tag along, even though they didn't believe that in their hearts. And, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to, I, I, I'm just saying, I think we all have a lot more in common than, I mean, get on Twitter, you can find all kinds of trannies with their AR-15s. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. We're all so, on the same page at the most basic levels, right? My, and as long as they don't training. shove it in your face or at children, I don't care. But yeah, and that, well, and that's not even. But but most of those most of those kinds who are you know yeah. gun carrying folks aren't that sort anyway. Yeah. My point is, is they're they're live and let live, just like most other people really are. Mm-hmm. But I think the, uh, that that. So if ahead. there is an agenda. Oh to uh, yeah. to divide is the solution really just as easy as not letting them ha- do that but instead you know intentionally taking away aside those conversations and and saying you can't control us we're still going to have our own conversation with this person face to face you can't make me hate this person is that there a is- way to do it I think it's difficult, but maybe because it's very easy to hate. It just is. Yeah. You no. Know? Yeah, you're right. Um, it, it's it, it just it really comes too easily um, to get in that mindset to go after people because they're not like you, or they think different, or you know they cut me off while I'm driving. Well, that's you unforgivable. <laughs> so. I do think it's possible. It just it takes effort from both parties involved, and that's becoming less and less apparent the further down this rabbit hole we go. There was a TikTok sound running around running around for a while that was "Tell me your political beliefs without telling me your political beliefs," and it was, I believe, a gay couple should be able to defend their marijuana crop at their machine uh automatic <laughs> weapons like like yes like just leave me alone let me be me mm-hmm. and i think so many people get behind that yeah it's just probably the alone. case of um the loudest voices are amplified kind of thing so it yep. sounds like there's more of them than there actually are and that mm-hmm. um they, yeah. that that can't just be enough for to create division that they have to like say this other side wants you dead <laughs> or whatever. Like they hate you so much. And you're like, Whoa, that person hates me. I didn't know that. And then all of a sudden Thanksgiving is weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like you said, I mean, it, 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 the average right person on the right thinks that the left is clearly in control and taking charge and going to rule the world. And then the, if you talk to some of the people on the left, they think that the right is clearly in charge and going to take over the world. It's like somebody is telling a lie to both sides. No, the so, right, yeah. right or run by They're the same both, people. Both sides are right. That's exactly right. They're both. They're everybody's both right. They're both. There is no one by the same right. person. It's two horns on one boat. Yeah. Yep. Settled. So where's so, the goat? What's that? I'm saying there, if, it's, if it's two horns on the same goat, where's the goat? You know, who's the goat? Oh, I, I see what you're In saying. some curry, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> That's a lot of problems. <laughs> it, <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> burn it all, all right. down. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm in. <laughs> um, I burn it all down? I'll Careful. bring the styrofoam. Someone That's... else bring the gas. <laughs> I was gonna say, are we making napalm? Because I know. Yeah. Has anyone? Have you guys made napalm before using yeah. styrofoam and gas? Absolutely. No. Oh man. No, I mean, I'll tell you straight up. It's a great way to get rid of bees. Too. Yes, yellow jackets. That's what it's for. Yeah. That's why it was well, you get, in the You got to find the yellow jackets nest first. Yellow jackets. Oh, yeah. I've, I've found, got one I've in the backyard. The yellow that I yellow jackets. <laughs> yeah. I found I like the yellow jackets definition. nest. Definition. Yeah. There we go. Man, that stuff Run. is sticky. 
Rain straight out. I just like to thank for the record that I've never made napalm and I have no idea how and I'll never look it up. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. the record. Mm -hmm. in, the, in that dictionary behind you. I'll write for the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No one here has ever uh, been handed a single copy of the anarchist cookbook. Or, I was going to uh, say, I was going to bring that up. So I made some TikTok video about like, hey, what three books would you take with you? Like, like you're. And that was probably like the number one, like the anarchist cookbook. Problem is, is the only one that's out there that you can find at a reasonable price is like been edited and, and everything's been removed from it. That's I'm sure you can find on Internet Archive a full copy of it in PDF. An printed. old text file. I've looked, man, I've looked. I actually bought it on Amazon, like and put it on my kindle which is still kind of funny like the like the original no not the original i don't know probably not the original but like the thing about the anarchist cookbook is like when i was like going through it there's a lot of stuff in there about like phone freaking which like yeah. has no application in right today's like world so it's like half of it's garbage what is so phone it's like freaking? Let, don't eat it's like circle jerks, phone freaking. <laughs> what, what is this going? <laughs> uh, in the same direction. Uh, I can tell you. Years ago, they used yeah. to use phone freaking to make free long distance calls, and then it turned into how can we hack into someone's uh, voicemail system, into some business's uh, telephone system, and yada okay. yada yada. And so it's just like all sorts of telephones, uh, analog tel and, and, and early yeah. digital telephone hacking is basically what it is okay you would need yeah. to make specific tones in order to make yeah. the system think you're you want to do something 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 so you yeah one of the things. early well, uh, one, one of the early phone pickers found out with a captain crunch whistle that made a certain tone that's right and, and he blew it into the phone and he was able to get like free long distance or something it's wild and Matt That's and Matt funny. paid for this for this knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there's there's if there's you call, landline if you call here. Me and blow a whistle, I'll be upset. In Alaska, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I live on a remote island, and there's a landline here. I mean, you go down to the ferry terminal, and you just you got to turn a timer, and then after like a few seconds, the phone turns on. So hmm. I mean, that hmm. might not be there. There's places you could end up where you still might be able to use the phone, but if you don't know how to make that long distance call. You gotta have that captain whistle. That. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Search for it with Tor. <laughs> there you go. Don't, yeah. don't use yeah, you can't find it that way. Uh, no, nah, Tor's Tor's even monitored. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Duck, yeah. That guy. See, don't all don't just all I'm saying is don't use your IP to look yep. for it. Yeah. Sure, so VPN. Sure. Got it. Yeah, I've got, oh. I've got a good I got a good VPN that uh Put I'll send you guys the name of a uh, of a if, so like if Anarchist Cookbook is like you know entry level, I got I got another one that I found online that uh, it like ups the ante quite cool. substantially. That I'll send you the title and you'll have to search it's it at your own off, risk. Off the, uh, it's yeah, time to get on record. a different list tonight. Yeah, let's, <laughs> yeah, we're all let's go yeah. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got the Farm Hop uh, YouTube channel banned already. Now we're gonna get uh, people knocking Wait, on the what? door. I'll, I'll yeah, see send, you guys me, in send me a screenshot of that. Send me a screenshot. <laughs> Don't text me the title. <laughs> I'll do it in the crypt cryptography or something. There you go. <laughs> Just write us all screen. letters. How about that? There you go. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sure. Sounds good. Um, hold, hold up, hold up. But the YouTube channel got banned. No, uh, we not. we. We talked about something last week. I don't remember that okay. was like uh, okay. on the on like borderline <laughs> rule breaking or something. I don't know, mm. but um, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Grant kept bringing up the the vax and it's like stop stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> the the YouTube hive mind and echo chamber, right? They see what you want to see, what they want you to mm -hmm. see. Oh yeah, it's all mm -hmm. social media. What's the so I, I hear a lot of things about the, the, the Chinese version of TikTok versus the American yes. version of TikTok. Yeah. But like, so I, I'm going to dispute that. And like, of course, Chinese TikTok is going to like encourage learning and math and science and stuff. And like our, our algorithm, I guess, on the US TikTok, it shows you what you want to see. You want to see like girls dancing or you want to see like, you know, science stuff. Like I, I see a bunch of, you know, 
space stuff and homesteading stuff and prepping stuff. So like, I don't, I don't see any of that dancing bull ass that you don't suppose. <laughs> nope, not even at all. Not even a little bit. You know, it's really funny is to watch people change your algorithm by videos that they send you. Yeah. You've said that before that, that would piss me off. Like now I got to retrain this SOB. But I've, I've, but I've gone full circle. I've gone first full circle on that. Like I had my algorithm, people would send me stuff and it would change. I'm like, nope, I'm going back over here. And so I'd go back over here, go over here and I would watch these people's videos over and over and you can retrain it. It's crazy. <laughs> and it's, I mean, it's responsive. I mean, within like days. Hmm. But it'll, it'll, yeah, but you're it's right. Though, American you version. Have to redo it. Well, just don't click on videos that people send you. I guess not. I need I need more conspiracy or, videos. If you really want to reverse this, send videos to people that they don't want to watch. Change their algorithm. <laughs> Be that guy. <laughs> Just deliciously. So I wouldn't. Do, I would never. There's do that. a there's a weird um, hive mind in echo chamber. So is the is the conspiracy uh, is the conspiracy people out there? We had some no. we had some people visit uh, over the week no, over the weekend over the summer. And this person was new to like conspiracies. And because I wasn't like totally on board with all the like that I, I that I thought the midterm elections were gonna like be the end of the world, like I all of a sudden I was the normie. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you don't believe hard <laughs> enough that we're all doomed in three months. And so I'm like, this is weird. No, uh, I've been on the no, I've, I've been on this ship for a long drank, time. We're you good. drank the cool. You drank the you drank it too, too fast. fast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta dilute it for real. Like that's it's it's you a make, weird. You gotta, make, you gotta make the conspiracy last a little bit longer. Like yeah, right. dilute you gotta it. water it down, man. Mm -hmm. Like no, no. If OD. you want to, if you really want to throw a conspiracy theory, go go like one level higher. So they're like, you know, the moon landing was faked, man. You believe in the moon? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Guy, actually, I want let's, let's bring somebody this up. did that Guy, to me. Just let's, let's hear it. What'd somebody just did that to me. I was talking about. Well, basically, I tweeted. I tweeted out that that no human being is ever going to Mars, which is yeah. just. I mean, there's no way. It's not yeah. possible. I mean, they could give you all the I'm propaganda they okay. want. It's not freaking possible. The moon is barely Money possible. Wandering. Mars is not possible. I'll put silver on it. But um, anyway, so, you know, I, I tweeted that out. And, you know, all these people come out of the woodwork. One guy trying to convince me that, that men did land on the moon. And and uh, it's funny, too, because people automatically assume that if, if you don't think men landed on the moon, that you think space is fake or that the Earth is flat. And it's like, no, I just don't necessarily believe it's a globe. You know, like, you, you got to. You got to prove it harder than that. But uh, yeah. anyway, point being, point being, right? This uh, the the this guy was trying to con convince me that people landed on the moon with these so-called proof, and uh, and then somebody hopped in and was like, "You believe in the moon?" <laughs> so yeah, I mean, <laughs> okay, let's, somebody did let's, that to me. <laughs> this has been a long time coming. I want to hear your space theories. Let's let's hear it. I want to hear this. Again, I'm, I'm, on the, as, I'm in the I'm in the echo theory, chamber man. of uh, as you had done Earth before, theory. as you had done before. I'm going to plead the fifth on this as well. <laughs> yeah. we'll I mean, I don't I don't have any <laughs> real theories, man. Like, uh, I mean, I I went down the whole flat Earth rabbit hole, right? And uh, yeah. it's kind of like I've got this book over here by Eric Dubay. Um, I don't know if that's how you say his name, but he's kind of like one of the big flat Earth guys, right? Okay. And um, so I, I read through the book and then I got to this point where we started talking about chakras and spine and stuff. And I was like, OK, we went from like some scientific maybe proof <laughs> to some like esoteric bullshit. Yeah. OK, so <laughs> now I have to question the flat earth stuff, too. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, and it's not esoteric bullshit. I mean, but you know what I mean by that? Like, we're not talking about the same things anymore. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, he he, he but, went off the path. Yeah, yeah. He did. He went off the path. And, and it's like, okay, man, like, you know, I, I get you unlock your little cunnilingus serpent or whatever, but 
Um, <laughs> so I went down the flat earth path and then I tried to go back the other way. Uh, I was like, but there's no real proofs for the, for the globe earth either. So people are like, you know, you're a flat earther. I'm like, what are you a globe earther? Like there's no <laughs> definitive proof. There's no definitive proof either way. Throw like, it right at back the end at the day, him. Yeah. What it the hell matter. does it matter? I mean, it does, exactly. but it doesn't. It really doesn't. At the it same really time. Has uh, no I don't, I don't really care. My daily living. It really has I mean, no we all got to. Yeah. I mean, we all got to. And then, and then the only and point, the only point that it, that it starts to matter is when they say and give you proofs that extraterrestrial life exists in sentient forms. That yeah. is when it starts to matter. But that's when you need to start questioning harder than you ever have before. Mm -hmm. And because there is a lot, there's a lot on, there's a lot at stake with that stuff. I mean, there's, there's, you know, you always ask the question, qui bono, right? And there's a lot mm -hmm. of people that stand to, to profit from that sort of yeah. thing. And so, yeah, but it doesn't matter until that low. happens anyway. Mm -hmm. Like the whole like space, yeah, big, 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 big money. <laughs> the, e everything is this big business, you, down to your food products, pharmaceuticals, everything. But then you have the government pushing it all, and I feel like they use it again as some just just something else to pacify us to take our mind off the real problems. You know, oh, we have this a greater global, you know, yeah. space that's infinite. That's infinite. There's a you that's done everything you've done, but brushed their hair differently this morning. For infinity, I don't, I don't, I don't, I that's hard pressed for me to believe at all. So, my um, biggest, my biggest pushback on flat earth going to the moon, and I'm not going to say one way or the other, but there's a lot of people that bought into that conspiracy that are going to their grave with the secrets, yeah. That's my only. Of, that's my only a pushback. Is there's a, a lot of people of that were involved. Deathbed confessions. Say what? Because there's a huge lack of deathbed confessions. Right. That's my yeah. only pushback on that. Otherwise, I'd buy in. Seen Cloud <laughs> and Hooker. I mean, I don't know if it's much if you've seen it, but like, like Buzz Aldrin, he's kind of losing yeah, his mind him. and going off. It's just like, you know, either way. I think it's I think it's interesting that all the technology they had at the time was now supposedly in our phone, but yet we can't do it again. You know, yeah, or don't want, to. Don't want like, to. That's weird. But the like, so not there. I've been saying, you know, we did it. We went. Okay, why don't we go back? If there was, is there something there that's saying, oh, well, we probably shouldn't go back and see that. You know, it, it's. We, it's, well, they, they saw it's it was on the, to, the dark side of the moon. They don't want to go back. You're, you're yeah. trying to define <laughs> something that is not definable because I don't. I personally think it's beyond our scope as as humans. I think I don't think we're meant to explore space at all, or we would be able to breathe space air. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, which, 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 because yeah. which there isn't any in space, yeah. so you know, fish aren't meant yeah. to walk on land. So. But they then they did. Yeah. Well, it's uh -huh. one of those things too, where you start asking you start asking these questions, and it's like there's there's a simple answer, and then there's a complex answer to every simple question that you asked, right? Yep. And um, mm -hmm. you know, for 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 instance, uh, any question you have about space, well, how'd they get through the what what's it called the Van Allen radiation belt or whatever? Well, they don't have a good answer for that, but um, but they just did it, right? I mean, Buzz Aldrin says, oh, we just went, we just fucking went right through it. No big deal, guys. <laughs> Manned up and went through and, it. Just, yeah. Look, right. And I'm fine. Right. But and so they, you, so then they went and played questions, right? But, but we're too, we're too, I don't know what, lowly to, to, the to understand too. these things. Yeah. yeah. So, but, but there's, so you start asking these questions, but then you start, the, the way I look at it is like the, the technology probably exists for human beings to go to the moon if there is a moon right but it's just cheese. whether or not just they've actually done it is another question altogether it's not that mm -hmm. it couldn't be done but when you start to look at the everything i, I guess put together now you know this is where you start getting into the conspiracy territory you yeah. know you look at 
Well, when did we come off the gold standard? 1971. When did the World Economic Forum start? 1971. When were men walking on the moon? Right around 1971. Right? Oh, and so you started. Year. Distractions, Why are distractions. we doing all of these things, right, during this time period? Yeah. Yeah. And and right. and so then you have I mean, to me, it's like, well, obviously, Nixon lied about why we came off the gold standard. I mean, what else? What else are people lying about? You know, there's clearly an agenda there. And so everything. that's when you, yeah, everything. you have to say, like, <laughs> hey, man, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry, but I feel like I have to question whether you landed on. No, the moon. No. I really want to believe it, but you're, you're making wrong. me question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not disagreeing with you at all, yeah. at all, because I don't know. I have no idea. But involved in now, look what they did to us for the last three years. Everything they do or have done now has to be questioned, down yeah. to everything. Look at look at the you know declassified documents that came out around Pearl Harbor. They knew it was coming. They knew it was going to happen. They used it to throw us into a world war that they wanted to be in to profiteer. So it goes question back. Question everything. Question everything. Yeah. No, but, I, I uh, don't disagree with you at all, guy. At all, uh, I'm, I'm saying that I don't. I don't know the truth, and none of us do. How could we know? It's right. not like we can just, you um, know, build our own spaceship. They they'll shut you down. That one guy did, and then he died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. like everybody who goes to Antarctica get gets arrested as soon as they set foot on land. Spooky it's, space. It's, it's just like it's the perimeter all, of the flat it's, Earth. That's it's all, all it is. Coincidence. Right. It's okay. It's just a coincidence. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. I've, I've followed Why that stuff. I, I looked into it. I joined, so I ended up joining a uh, a Facebook group that was a flat Earth Facebook group, and I I joined it with the intent of just making fun of the flat Earthers. And then I got in there and realized, well, everybody's in here to make fun of the flat Earth. There's no flat Earthers in here. It's just a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's a, a circle. <laughs> <laughs> And we have <laughs> bingo. We've gone full it. circle. Yeah, that's yeah, a <laughs> jerk. Welcome, long story. He's, uh, what a time to jump into the <laughs> jump into right? the chat. Yeah. Jump into the circle, man. That was fantastic. I, I love that little story about the flat earthers. That's fantastic. I was out delivering the last of our Thanksgiving turkeys until the four that I'm delivering fresh tomorrow. So that's a that's a good a good thing, man. We sold them all. It's awesome. Cool. That's a nice. good thing. Excellent. That's a nice personal event. Yep. I heard there's a shortage of turkeys this year. Yeah, uh, we, we had a uh, customer that uh, couldn't pick up because they they had a family emergency and they asked us to find someone that in need to donate it to. So I oh, wow. posted on a, a local Facebook group and had a few people put forward some, some names and we took it to a single mother of three. No, that's, cool. that's pretty cool. Fantastic. Yeah. It is cool. Yeah. And now we have the wholesome bit of uh, the <laughs> men's forum. That, yeah. That's, that's, that's the had rap. the wholesome, the devastating, and then just like a Well, few. I mean, you started it with the title, Matt. Yeah, you did. It's your fault. <laughs> we just played into uh, it. That's no, no do I have to do uh, echo chamber, hive mind, circle jerk, and wholesome all in? That's That gets quite wordy. It's you already just, yeah, just leave it. Jerk. Just leave it. Oh, yeah, wholesome I, don't, I don't think you can jerk. say yes. circle jerk and wholesome. <laughs> no. I mean, I mean no. can can you echoes, hives, and wholesome circle jerk, circle jerk? <laughs> <laughs> or just <laughs> and holes? <laughs> dives and drive-ins. Uh, this is no, definitely a men's form. I just had to say that. That's fine. We need we need stuff like this every every now yes, and then. Um, absolutely. It doesn't have to be so damn serious all the time. This is this is no. Nah, this has been this fun. Is, I like I like that we we completely went off the rails. Um, I'm good with that. Uh, we made it. We, we stayed on the rails for a while though. <laughs> it was too long. I think we stayed on the rails too long. Don't we do derail every week though, or is that just because I'm here? <laughs> That is your fault. A lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm all right with it, dude. We can go yeah. with wherever we want to go. It's just it's like what, it, this is what I have done for you lately. I showed up today. Long story. Um, did you have any uh, comments um, about echo chambers and hive minds and circle jerks? <laughs> well, well, I, I don't think I can comment on the last one, but um, I uh, 
I mean, I made some comments last time in the when we were talking about what the topic might be uh, backstage after the the last one, and I I feel like one of the big uh, detractors from from really I don't know civil discourse is the we don't we no longer recognize the need of people who think differently than we do, um, and so I think that's the danger. I don't think it's a bad thing to have. Um, echo chambers. I, I think of it. Um, maybe I think of it like when, if you're, if you're, say, a person of faith, and you're always out there battling atheists, it's good to be able to come back to an area where you can discuss your faith with other people who sure. who share that view. Um, but it's also healthy to to get out there and and mix it up with people who think differently. Mm-hmm. I think it sharpens your your focus and. Yeah, and helps you to improve your arguments and things like that. So, yep, and you might even think, win a new uh, person to your arguments. You know, it's worth doing. Yep. Is so that's my main comment. No, but like, it, whenever I'm having an online discussion, I'm aware that 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 I'm, all, I'm not only speaking to to another person, but I'm also speaking to the people who scroll by and happen to see the conversation. So there's other people who are reading and, and they're, you know, sometimes they hit that like button because they they like it, but sometimes they don't. They're just silent and they're, they're watching the background. It's good. You're, you're talking to other people too. You're talking to several people at once. So. Sure, sure. I think one of the things that's, that's um, hard about talking to people that don't agree with you is trying to speak to them, maybe not to convince as much as just to be understood. Um. You know, that's another thing that can be a real a real gift, I think, to you know, I made a post the other day on Twitter where I said that I felt like the right views the uh, views voting as a civic duty and therefore it shouldn't be necessarily easy, whereas the left views voting as something that sh- that should be as a right that should be as easy as possible to exercise. And even though I didn't agree with some people that were coming from the left point of view about how easy it should be there was an, a level of understanding that was gained, I think from both sides in terms of, Oh, well now I understand why, you know, voter ID makes sense to someone who thinks it's a duty as opposed to it's sh- just, it should be the easiest possible thing to do. Um, hmm. you know, there, there's examples where just trying to understand why the other side is coming from it that way might be good. You know, it doesn't have to mean you agree. No, but I then think we get back sense. to the hive mind where each side is pushing to their people what they believe and you're buying into what your side of things believes. Just with the, the it should be as easy to vote as you can. Well, that comes for some people believe that, that comes from trying to buy the vote and get as many people to vote your side as you can if that makes any sense yeah i i mean the thing that i learned from that exchange was that ballot harvesting is viewed by some as a public good because you're facilitating the vote by people who might not otherwise be able to exercise that right even the people I the saw it as, but then they should but should they well, be able to exercise the right if they can't get out and go do it well i, I think that's exactly you know that's the point that someone from yeah. the right would make Hey, yeah. this is a this is a, a duty. It's not just a right; it's a duty. And and so, just understanding why some people would come at it from the point of view of, hey, that person that goes to a nursing home and collects the ballots, they're doing a public service. They're not a bad person. They're doing a public service. And I'm like, sure. If they're getting paid for each vote, that's probably not a service, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, and so, if they so, fill in the vote for them once they pick it up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> well, like so, like my dad is in a nursing home. And he gets a mail-in vote, a mail-in ballot every year, or every election cycle. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, is is his vote valuable? Absolutely. Should he be able to vote? Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I mean, like mail-in voting is is perfectly reasonable, but it's when yeah. someone's well, filling it out for you that. Yeah. <laughs> my, I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't be able to vote if we didn't have that out here. That's true. Right. I mean, my, and, and that's the thing, like, 
you know, people who want to live out here don't want to be involved with everything that's going on, you know, where you guys are at. But I have to be able to still make my voice heard so that I get to keep my way of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, but I it's think tough. The point I was trying to make... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. Go ahead. The point I was trying to make was to me in a more, um, you know, sane time, we would have probably, we'd probably be able to have the conversation and say, okay, you want to increase access and make it easier to vote. And I want to make sure the vote is secure. So we could agree on some measures for security and some measures mm -hmm. for access. So like what I was saying is Agreed. I would have election day be a holiday and yeah. I would open up access for mail in ballots, but I would require ID and signature, signature verification. And to me, yeah, that I was would. like me meeting people halfway. And some people thought that I was, you know, I was being too restrictive. And so I, I thought mean, it was interesting. There's always that middle ground you have to find because it's like it's one extreme to another extreme. But like take it. OK, mail in voting. Fine. I don't think it should be as openly and widely available as possible. If you're not going to be able to say it's a national holiday, everybody's off. Good out. Go vote. OK, if you can't get out and go vote on that day, make plans, get your back, mail in ahead of time. If you know you can't get out and go do it, then request it. Get get it. It shouldn't just be mailed out to everybody, you know, without request. I, I think that's the, the big issue that I have with mail in ballots is that there's no security over who gets the ballot. And then if you don't have on the back end and I, I'm, a, I'm a corporate finance guy, so I come from the point of view of like you know, if mm -hmm. I'm designing a financial system uh, for a corporate finance group, I want to make sure that it takes at least two and hopefully three people to collude to commit fraud. And when you have a ballot with no security and no signature verification and no ID, that means only one person has to have evil intent and they can perpetrate a fraud. That to me is bad, right? Sure. It's poor yep. control of your system. And then you get two or three people together to do it and then you have a problem. Yeah. But it was it was interesting. I, I was just I, I didn't want to get into debating about voting. I just wanted to point out, like, I I learned about exchange. Even though I didn't agree, I learned something. Yeah, and I think you learned something. Also learned. You got out of yeah. your echo chamber. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. the point. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's good. Um, let's wrap up here because we're already over an hour. Uh, what, what do you guys uh want to say that hasn't been said? Like, like you feel like. You've been heard, Jeremy. Guy, long story. Grant. Christopher. I mean, yeah. I think I think we did again. I think we covered everything that we could think of within this timely manner, and barring all distractions and interruptions, we were good. I think. Um, I think. What is next week? We don't have a topic next week. Flat Earth. Yeah. Only, only if God joins. No. Only if God joins. No. I think we I think we tapped into that. Uh no. See, that'd be a that'd be a wasted hour of air time. <laughs> I don't know. I liked it. It's always a fun topic because I, I mean none of like, us it's like blowing up the balloon and just pulling it while you let the arrow. <laughs> That's what the flat earth debate is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, um, all right. If no one's got uh, anything else to say, let's go around and do our stuff. Jeremy, where's Jeremy? Jeremy, there you are. Yeah, at Do We Like Donuts on TikTok and Instagram. We've got a Pure Bama apparel. You can also go to, just go to purebama.com. We sell t shirts, and those are on sale. Did you get the code that I sent you? Code is Farm Hop Life for thirty percent off. We're knocking shit off, man. We're selling out. <laughs> People is are buying stuff, t-shirts these sale. days. Is stuff moving? Are you, are you moving product? No, no. Uh -uh, even with negative. the sale. Even with the sale. Oh, I just created this code before we jumped on the live. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna discount stuff pretty heavily between now and the end of the year to get rid of everything because, you know, just with the way the economy is right now. People aren't coming. spending money on t-shirts. No. I was at an antique store today with uh, my friend, 
and um, she said people just you know people aren't buying people aren't she's people not. aren't buying stuff they're not it's like i've probably been buying you know too much stuff uh but you know still it's always something you can use <laughs> yes all right i don't know where guy went i i made a special banner just for him mm-hmm. uh, well he's guy he's alaska out. guy in alaska guy alaska he said, hey, don't, he don't said follow don't follow me don't follow me <laughs> That's what he said in the chat. Don't follow oh, me. Oh, okay. Well, challenge I will, I will, accepted. Uh, is that, <laughs> do I, I already do post that or do uh, I not? I post wouldn't. That? I wouldn't post it. I mean, I think I already gave his Twitter account. So yeah. um, uh, at real Kello Jones, go follow oh, him. He just it was me. It. it was me. <laughs> He's going to find he you. Just said it. Kill you. I'll strangle you. <laughs> uh, Okay, uh, who? Uh, let's do Christopher next. Yes, okay. sir. So you, you? I've got the better uh, coupon than Jeremy. <laughs> I've got Farm Hop Life rocks. Oh dang! To, to for uh, to the secure coop store, and so I'm working on it's a that ass. <laughs> <laughs> working on a coop door opener with phone notifications, and it'll it, it open and close the coop and send a notification to your phone we we're working on that getting the the last bugs out of it and working with my guy today we had a debugging session and so we're coming down to it and trying to get it done yep. yes. i'm waiting for that yes. to be done because i have a chicken coop that needs a good door on it yeah if you need a door right now what i tell people is i, I have an electric can, fence it works all right but i'm still waiting for yeah it. <laughs> no i have a i have a competitor that i re- I recommend uh and it's a dumb door opener there's no phone notifications but it's a very good quality motor and, and, and works really good. And when there's an issue with it, you can add a secure coop mo- module to watch it. So you, it can be, it can come mm-hmm. in later if you, yeah. if you'd like, you can, you can like still sell that. your product to those people who bought yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So built, I'm, I've, I've got a whole market of people I can talk I to. I built my own off of an Arduino and it yeah. broke. Oh yeah. It broke. So use, uh, use so chicken just, guard. They're a great competitor. And I they just put are, up an electric a, fence. It seems a, to work all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait. I'll um, wait for yours. I'm gonna wait for yours too. Same. Just, okay. You just better get it done. Um, I know. I am. If uh, it, it'll be get your fault get, if I completely give up on chickens. I'm get, get my having, butt moving. Having an <laughs> I may have to sell my chickens. Or eat them. Is the only thing that like if I had a better coop door, I would keep my chickens. If I. The coop, the coop door they have now makes me not want to keep chickens. So that right? you better, okay. you better get to it. All right. And then upsize it for dogs and stuff too. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. have dogs. But and then I'm just upsize it for his house so he can open his door that's, before he even tr- walks to see? it. Even better. Uh, mm-hmm. Standard door size is six foot eight, by the way, Christopher. So. <laughs> uh, Grant. Um, you can follow me at the thing on the screen. Pain Homestead, <laughs> Homestead of Pain. Um, you're not going to find much. I don't post much. You got to uh, post yet. stuff. Got to post um, stuff. With, with my current unemployment, I will probably devote a lot of my time to that till school there starts back um, while I wallow in my sadness. Just make, some, just a, make some fun dancing videos. People love that stuff. I People don't say, need do to see me, Joe. Alex Jones rant, like Alex Jones style rant about uh, girls like wearing masks and stuff. Like, I. No, because I still know the person. <laughs> As, class isn't over yet. She hasn't graduated. I mean, it just makes for some good dialogue in class if they find that's you. Right. right. That's oh it. yeah. That's what I need Man, to when people me. find you online, in, uh, my brother found me. He goes, he sent me a screenshot. This was when I had like seventy something thousand. He's like, found you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, and then I blocked just, him. Yeah, that's a perfect idea. <laughs> I you did. I blocked. I actually blocked him like two weeks ago. I'm like, you know what? I'm done with this. Was he I just blocked, harassing I, you about it? Nope. But I told him I was like, hey, shh, don't just tell. Me. I've got three brothers. I said, shh, don't tell. Don't tell the other two. <laughs> and I found out two weeks ago that he told one of the other brothers. I was like, you're done, man. You done. So I blocked him and the other one. And <laughs> perfect. I don't know. I don't really know what for. Just because I wanted to. I mean, your brothers, what you do. <laughs> True. <laughs> Long story farms. 
Yeah, well, we don't uh, we don't have anything really special going on. Just uh, have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see people at the markets in Newberry and uh, the Old Barn in Chapin, South Carolina, uh, on December third. We'll be at both markets, and uh, you know we're we're ramping up. We're we've got 135 meat chickens on the ground and uh, 15 pigs. So, dang, we're uh, we're, get, pigs. we're building up. Be ready to rock and roll in the spring with uh, some some new announcements about how we're going to be marketing our products. So. That's sweet. Uh, you being a former chef, what are you making for Thanksgiving this year? Um, I always do a very uh, kind of traditional Southern Thanksgiving with uh, roasted turkey, um, dr- a cornbread dressing. That's kind of my mom's recipe, amped up with some fresh, fresh, fresher ingredients and. Uh, we make uh, horseradish mashed potatoes. I make uh, gravy, uh, you know, traditional <clears throat> roux based, uh, you know, turkey stock based gravy. Um, and uh, we do some different things. I have the Dutch fork pie pumpkin. It's a local heirloom that we grew this year. We'll make our pies from that. And uh, we'll be doing, um, uh, we're going to do a ham. We don't usually do a ham, but since we were growing so many pigs, we were going to do half a ham as well. So nice. I'm having a buddy of mine uh, this year. The one difference is we're going to have the ham, so we're going to have a friend of mine uh, smoke the turkey. So we'll have smoked turkey and roasted ham this year. So. That sounds nice. I like that. Hey, if you don't mind, at some point, could I get some of those pumpkin seeds? Yeah, man, I've got a, I've got a bunch drying right now. That they're, awesome. they're pretty much ready. I used awesome. to clean them up, but, but yeah, I'll be glad to share those with you. Yeah, I've got They've a been uh, go ahead. productive and impervious to pests, so it was great. Yeah, I, I was really looking for are they a winter winter squash, basically pumpkin? I've never grown a pumpkin. Uh, no, they grow in the summer. These guys oh, well, grow. Yeah, but yeah like, they're, they're, they... they they ripen say September. Yeah, so but are they like the winter squash you can store in your pantry for like four to six months. Oh yeah, I, okay. I've been yeah. Okay. Palad um, yeah. yeah, like a spaghetti a squash. Summer and last through winter. Squash. Yeah, yeah. So I've got a. Uh, I ended up growing loofah this year oh, for the he, first time. Did and, yours uh, uh, have viable seeds? Yeah, yeah. My, like I've got probably like a thousand seeds. So, so, huh. but, but I ended up making some TikTok videos. A while back about loofah just because i was intrigued by it and it, they're great sponges and all that kind of stuff but anyway there's the tiktok video to come where i'm gonna basically share seeds i like i don't want to sell the seeds i just want to give them away to people but so basically kind of along the same lines of send me a self-addressed envelope and i'll send you free seeds if I'll you want to send me if you want to send me Alabama. some seeds in exchange go for it i, I would happily accept them but there's no requirement there. Just sheet, uh, seed sharing. That's, yeah, I'll do that. I think that's huge. You're in Alabama, and I was hoping, because I got mine from, they came from somewhere overseas. So I'm sure mine did too. I, I, I like, but now you had that first season. The seeds have memory. Seeds store memory in, in the seed. So you're a they, similar climate to my, I am in Alabama. Since I didn't get any, I will most definitely. Where are you at again? That. Georgia. Yeah, okay, I was thinking Georgia. Um. Because no, all mine, none of them had. They were all. They didn't like reach maturity. The seeds weren't black. They were all white, and they're not going to do anything. Yeah, you got to get them. Uh, got to get them planted soon enough. They, oh they yeah, require like 120 days. Yeah, sure. I did. I didn't even expect to get any fruit, but I'm shallow with a whole loofah. I'm just like I threw out all of my scrunchies, like all my you know plastic crap. And it's just I've got a whole loofah in the shower. It's great. <laughs> you know the. You know the the. I ran into this guy. He's a former professor of literature at University of Georgia. His name is James Everett Kibler. He's restoring a plantation home here, uh, not far from us. And he he came by the the farmers market and said hi and invited us to come out to the plantation. And he's he's collecting heirloom seeds from this area. We've got um, I've got a probably fi- yeah. He's got like fifth. I've probably got fifteen different uh you know plant species that he's given me because he's just trying to make sure they survive you know and that is some of these things, beautiful mm-hmm. yeah they I mean, he's been grown for 200 years in this area and you know you're talking about seeds having memory um wow 
I mean, that they're is so productive. Incredible. That is incredible. Wow. So like uh, very- I ended up with a, a bunching onion that was from Thompson Thomas or Thompson Georgia, um, a old heirloom variety of those that I now have. Um, that I, I was really excited to get because, you know, I don't have many heirlooms. The only heirlooms I have are from my great-grandmother's property, which have been there for 50 years. Grant, Grant, we're, wrap we're, we're wrapping up. We got to okay. go. Cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Grant. All right. Uh, and I am Matthew Rosa from Farm Hop Life. We are a traveling host of family. Check us out from mylife.com. Okay. Uh, see you guys later next week sometime. Bye. 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 We're going to talk about something. Don't know what.